Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, diagonal uh, AB and this uh, other line uh, CD inside this uh, blue square AP, BT, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these two lines uh, demarcate uh, these uh, yellow and uh, blue shaded regions. And moreover, the diagonal AB is 8 units long. And this segment BC is equal to this segment AD. And this BC segment is being represented by X. Whereas this side length of this square is 5 times X. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shader region, this uh, region and this region combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this segment uh, BC is equal to this segment uh, AD. If this segment is X, uh, then this AD segment is going to be X uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, square APBT. And we know all of its uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, square are equal. If this side length uh, is uh, 5 times x, uh, then this side is going to be 5x, uh, 5x, uh, and 5x uh, across the board. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue shaded region, this area and this area combined. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, blue shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, blue square APBT minus uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square and also the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APB. And we know this is our 90 degree angle since we are dealing with this uh, blue square. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our this uh, AB is the hypotenuse. And this is uh, 8. So therefore, our this hypotenuse is uh, 8 and our other two legs are uh, 5x uh, and 5x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we got uh, 5x uh, whole uh, square, likewise plus 5x uh, whole uh, square equal to 8 uh, square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 25x uh, square plus uh, 25 uh, x square equal to 64. Now we are going to combine the like terms on the left hand side. That is going to give us 50 x square equal to 64. And now I am going to divide both sides by 50 to isolate x square. And here we can see 50 and 50 is gone. So therefore our x square value equals to if we reduce this thing that is going to give us uh, 32 divided by 25. So thus our x square value turns out to be 32 divided by 25. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square APBT. And now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, represents the side length of the square. And in our case, the side length of this uh, square is uh, 5x. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue square is going to become uh, 5x uh, whole uh, square. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 25 times uh, x uh, square. And now we know our x square value is 32 divided by 25. So I'm going to substitute this x square over here for 32 divided by 25. So therefore I can write uh, 25 times uh, 32 divided by 25. And here we can see 25 and 25 
cancel each other out. So therefore, uh, the area of this uh, blue square turns out to be 32. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region, this yellow shaded region and this yellow shaded region combined. And now let's make an observation. We can see both of these uh, are uh, triangles. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And now we can see their base is this one and this one they are congruent. Both of them are uh, x. And now if we draw this uh, perpendicular mn that passes through their point of intersection uh, A. Let's assume the height of this uh, yellow triangle uh, is uh, lowercase uh, h. Then this uh, remaining uh, height uh, is going to be 5x uh, minus uh, h. This is going to be the height uh, of this yellow triangle. So therefore we are going to calculate this uh, yellow shared region area. So the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be a half times uh, its base is x and the height uh, is uh, h plus uh, the area of this uh, other yellow triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, its base is uh, x as well and the height uh, is 5x uh, uh, minus uh, h. So let's go ahead and simplify. So this is going to give us uh, x times h uh, divided by 2. And here we are going to distribute. That is going to give us 5x uh, uh, square divided by 2 minus uh, x times uh, h uh, divided by 2. And here we can see x h divided by 2 and minus x h divided by 2 cancel each other out. So therefore we are just ended up with 5x square divided by 2. And now we know our x square value is 32 divided by 25. So I'm going to substitute over here 32 divided by 25. So therefore we are going to get 5 divided by 2 times 32 divided by 25. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 16 divided by 5. And that is going to be equal to 3.2. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 3.2. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. We already figured out this uh, blue square area as uh, 32 and the area of this uh, yellow shared region as uh, 3.2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So we got uh, 32 minus uh, 3.2. And if we simplify that, it's going to give us 28.8 uh, square uh, units. So thus our blue shared region area turns out to be 28.8 uh, square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye